Dean Floyd in the newsroom. Penn State fans are getting excited for the Rose Bowl. That's right, Stacy and Lisa. Thanks. Hello, everyone. Well, we begin our road to the Rose Bowl coverage as Penn State prepares to face Utah on January 2nd. Penn State is coming off that 35-16 win at home over Michigan State back on November 26th. And now we turn to WNEP Sports Director Ron Snyder with the latest on Penn State and the Rose Bowl game coming up. Ron, how was the trip? And it looks like great weather for this matchup. A little bit chilly for Los Angeles standard Steve, but the fans excited to come out here and enjoy the Rose Bowl. The players went to Disneyland yesterday, but they insist this is a business trip. They're prepared to win and they're winning this season doing well because of the fabulous freshmen they have. Nick Singleton, Katron Allen getting it done. Nick Singleton leading the entire FBS with more than six yards of carry. I mean, shoot. I, I, I'm, I don't even know the numbers, so number 10, I mean, I know he's a hard runner, you know? So, like, they run the ball really well, and he's a really great explosive running back for them, and uh, all of their running backs do. And so I think as long as uh, we're able to, you know, hold our blocks up front, um, you know, keep our backers free, we'll be able to, you know, match that run game and stop it. So the, pet, the uh, Utah defense doesn't exactly know his name, but they will know his name if he bursts through up the middle for a big first down run and finds his way to the end zone. They'll see the back of his jersey on the way to scoring a touchdown for Penn State. Reporting live at the Rose Bowl, Ron Snyder, Newswatch 16 Sports, Los Angeles. Ron, thanks a lot. We'll see you in a few minutes for, for some more news and then obviously some more sports coming up here in about 20 minutes.